Then they took away the stone from the place where the dead was laid, and Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank thee that thou hast heard me. And I know that thou hearest me always. But because of the people which stand by, I said it, that they may believe that thou hast sent me. And when he thus had spoken, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. And he that was dead came forth, bound hand and foot with grave clothes, and his face was bound about him with a napkin. Jesus saith unto them, Loose him and let him go. You may be seated and let us pray. Lord, Heavenly Father, we thank you again, Lord, for the privilege to be in your house one more time. Lord, we thank you for the privilege of opening up your word one more time. Lord, we thank you, Lord, uh, that you've never one time been dependent on our ability, but Lord, uh, we are always completely dependent upon yours. But Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you're able to do exceeding abundantly above uh, all we can think or ask. Uh, uh, amen. Uh, Randy said the other night, uh, uh, amen, I, I appreciate the compliment. Uh, uh, he said we'd outdone ourselves. Uh, oh, but what I said uh, in response was we always do uh, because we have no ability to do anything. Uh, oh, but it's you that works in us, Lord. Uh, and so we ask again tonight, Lord, Lord, uh, that you would come and dwell with us for a little while. Uh, Lord, that you give us the words that are for the hour. Lord, that you help us, Lord, uh, to clear the things of our mind that would distract us, uh, uh, to clear the fog, Lord, uh, 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 that would keep us from hearing what you'd have us to say. Uh, uh, Lord, that we would just give uh, what saith the Lord this evening, Lord. Uh, Lord, we thank you, Lord. Uh, on the one day, uh, oh, Lord, we were dead. Uh, uh, we were dead in our sin uh, uh, and in the mire uh, of our life. Uh, uh, Lord, you called us out. Uh, and then you said, loose him and let him go. And we thank you for it, Lord. Yes. yes. Lord, because we're still going. Mm -hmm. And Lord, you said you'd never leave us nor forsake us, and we thank you. So, Lord, we just ask, Lord, that you give us the words that are needful for the hour. And Lord, we'd get ourselves out of the way. We love you, Lord, and we thank you. It's in the name of Jesus that we pray and ask always. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Now, the thought for this message uh, uh, actually was from, I don't know, probably three or four weeks ago. Uh, Clarence and I were on the way home from here, uh, and, and he said something. I don't remember what he said to trigger it. Uh, and then he said, uh, 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 I think he did it uh, just so he could bless. Uh, and he said, boy, that'd make a good message. You remember that till I get home. Uh, and then he said, you can preach it if you want to. And I've been asking the Lord ever since. Uh, I love that title. I've been asking the Lord every time I got to preach since then uh, to let me preach it. Uh, and last night he said, you can preach it. Uh, amen. So I'm going to preach it. Uh, uh, but this is a message uh, uh, that we can open up to any page in the Bible and preach. You can open up uh, yeah, any amen. page as you open up to this Word of God. Uh, 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 you can preach that thought. Uh, I say that uh, uh, because every line of Scripture that is given is given just so he could bless. Every line of scripture that he ever gave us, uh, every every event that we read about, uh, every parable that he tells us, uh, uh, amen, even all that whole big list of begats, uh, uh, amen, is there uh, uh, so he could bless, so he could show us uh, uh, that Jesus Christ amen. came exactly the way that he said he would, uh, amen, uh, uh, that, so that he could prove that he was who he said he was. Every line amen. is there so we, he could bless. God makes no mistakes and his book has no idle words. He said in 2 Timothy 3 and 16, that's not my idea. He said all scripture, all of it, amen, amen. that means the whole book, uh, uh, Genesis to Revelation, uh, uh, and, and that means that nothing else counts in that category. We'll not go there this evening. Uh, uh, but it said all scripture <laughs> is given by inspiration of God. Yes. Yes. And it's profitable. Mm -hmm. Amen, that means it's a blessing. Amen. For doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. You say, you say correction, that don't sound like much of a blessing, preacher. Uh, uh, amen, it blesses me to be corrected. Uh, uh, why? Because I don't like to be wrong. Uh, uh, amen, so if I get corrected, that means I can get it right next time. Amen. <laughs> so, looking at, amen, uh, and I say we could, we could preach this message from any page, and, and actually, uh, I had, last night, as, as uh, Austin was preaching at Reamer, I was, I was listening, and then the Lord started started dealing with me on this message, and I stopped listening for a little while, and this happens sometimes, uh, and, and I wrote down a whole list of, of, of places I wanted to go uh, 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 with that thought in mind, uh, and this wasn't one of them. But this is the where the Lord led me to today. Uh, uh, so as we look at this passage of Scripture, uh, uh, there are some reasonable questions uh, uh, that a person could ask. Mm -hmm. And there's, uh, the first one I want to look at for just a moment is a question that still gets asked in hurt and in pain and in sorrow and in struggle today. 
when things come upon us. Mm -hmm. If Jesus loved him, if Jesus loved Lazarus, why would he let him get sick? And Jesus answered that question. I mean, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't say that anyone asked it, uh, but he answers the question directly uh, in verse number 4. Uh, he said, this sickness is not unto death, uh, but for the glory of God, that the Son of God might be glorified thereby. Amen. Uh, uh, what was he saying? In other words, uh, this was a sickness uh, just so he could bless. Uh, amen. Uh, uh, Lazarus was sick uh, uh, just so Jesus could bless. Uh, so am I saying that every time uh, uh, that a Christian gets sick, uh, that it's for the Lord to show a great miracle? No, absolutely not. That would be foolish preaching. Why? Because it's really easy to disprove that. But what I am saying is this. Sometimes it is. Sometimes we see the Lord do a healing that no one else can. Right. Sometimes, though, it's to show others how to live for God through the storm. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's uh, uh, to show us uh, how that we can have that peace of God uh, which passes all understanding. Uh, amen. And sometimes we say that uh, and we don't really believe it. Uh, uh, we, we, we believe in the peace of God when it makes sense. Uh, oh, but the peace of God uh, which passes all understanding uh, is that peace that comes upon you uh, when there's no reason to have peace. Uh, when there's no, uh, there's no logical understanding uh, uh, for having peace. Uh, uh, sometimes the sickness is to teach us about His peace. And sometimes, I've, I've said this before, uh, sometimes the greater miracle than changing a situation is changing our outlook on the situation. Yeah. Sure. But this we also know. That Romans 8 and 28 says, And we know mm -hmm. that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are the called according to His purpose. So what am I saying? I don't know. Amen. Uh, just speaking of, uh, of, 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 of this topic, of speaking of sickness, I don't know what the Lord's plan is in everything that happens. Sure, amen. But I know this, if you're His, all things work together for good. Yes. Amen. I know this, uh, if you are the called according to His purpose, in other words, uh, if you're saved, uh, uh, all things work together for good. Uh, uh, amen. Uh, uh, and that's, uh, uh, that's what Paul said. Uh, he said that the part would be far better. So, yeah. we realize that nothing happens in the life of a Christian that the Lord doesn't allow. Amen. And in the life of one who lives for Him, it all works together for good, even if we don't see or understand how. Right. But verse 4 here, and we'll move quickly, it's, it reminds me uh, uh, what he says here, that the glory, uh, that, but for the glory of God, that the Son of God might be glorified thereby. Uh, it reminds me about the man that was born blind uh, in John chapter 9 uh, and verse 3 uh, when he came into town and his disciples asked him, uh, uh, who, who did sin uh, uh, that this man was born blind? Uh, was it him or, or was it his parents? Uh, and he said, neither had this man sinned uh, nor his parents, but that the works Amen. of God may be made manifest in him. Uh, uh, you say a, a preacher, he walked around blind uh, his entire life up until that point. That's true. But the Lord gave him sight. Right. What a testimony that is. Amen. What a blessing. Amen. Uh, uh, what a blessing that would be uh, 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 to realize uh, uh, oh, I was blind, but now I see. Uh, but I want you to realize something. Uh, the great blessing in that man's life uh, was not that he received his sight. Preaching on just so he could bless. This man was blind just so the Lord could bless him. Bless. In verse 35, you find the great blessing in this man's life. Jesus heard that they had cast him out, and when he had found him, he said unto him, Dost thou believe on the Son of God? He answered and said, Who is he, Lord, that I might believe on him? <laughs> Amen. I never thought this, thought this before. Thank you, Lord. He didn't know. He said he didn't know. And yet he asked, Who is he, Lord? Amen. Uh, he knew something. He didn't know it all yet, but he knew something was up. Uh, and, and Jesus said unto him, Thou hast both seen him, uh, and it is he that's talking with thee. Uh, and he said, Lord, I believe. Uh, and he worshipped him. Uh, I want you to realize something. Uh, this man was born blind. Uh, oh, that the Lord could give him sight. Uh, yes, oh, oh, but more so, uh, that the Lord could take him out of the blindness of sin uh, and set his feet upon a rock uh, and establish his goings. Uh, he was, this man was born blind. Amen. Amen. The next question, we'll move on. 
in our text, as we read here that Jesus waited, He didn't leave. We could ask why Jesus would tarry and allow His friend to die. Amen. When he had already said this was a sickness, not unto death. He, he had the plan in mind from the beginning. And yet he would wait and allow his friend to go ahead and die instead of going and healing him in the first place. Amen. Uh, uh, Jesus answered that question himself too. Uh, uh, in verse 15, he said, And I am glad for your sakes that I was not there. To the intent ye may Amen. believe. Amen. I want you to realize something. Uh, that's the same reason He heals somebody today. Uh, 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 we already said it. Uh, uh, Paul said, uh, uh, for a believer, amen, uh, 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 to depart would be far better. Uh, 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 understand that a healing in the life of a Christian is not to bless them. I mean, it does bless them. Don't get me wrong. But it's that others might believe. Amen. Yeah. The greater blessing for them just, just, just for them. I'm not talking about their family. Amen. Uh, uh, and I realize that all those things are blessings too. But the greater blessing for just that individual would be to be with Jesus. Yeah. All right. All right. But He heals that others may believe. He heals uh, uh, that their family might uh, might believe. Uh, that others that see their testimony uh, might believe. Uh, uh, now, amen. We don't always know uh, His will in everything. Uh, but we know this, that it's not His will uh, that any should perish, uh, but that all should come to repentance. Uh, uh, amen. Everything the Lord does. Uh, uh, amen. He walked around town. Uh, every leper was not healed. That's right. True. But whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord, Shall be saved. Amen. So he was showing here in this passage that no matter how hopeless a situation gets, mm -hmm. no matter how far gone, how far into the realm of impossible it seems, there's always hope in the Lord. Yeah. There's always hope. But uh, uh, when Jesus is in the situation, uh, uh, to me, uh, amen, we'll read it quickly. Uh, that sounds like a, a, a situation in 1 Kings chapter 17. We find here, and we'll summarize a little bit, uh, uh, we find here uh, 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 that Elijah has called, uh, uh, amen, under the instruction of the Lord uh, that it's not going to rain. Uh, uh, and, and the Lord sends him uh, uh, to sit by the brook for a while and the ravens feed him and, and all that. Uh, uh, but eventually the drought is a long time uh, and the brook dries up. Amen. <laughs> so the Lord says, I'm going to send you to another place. We'll start in verse 9. And arise, get thee to Zarephath which belongeth to Zidon, and dwell there. Behold, I have commanded a woman, widow woman there, to sustain thee. Now, uh, that, that didn't jump out at me for a long time, uh, uh, but I want you to realize the Lord had given her instructions in advance. Uh, 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 this was not uh, when Elijah walked into town, uh, amen, uh, uh, she did not just have to trust him uh, uh, that he wasn't just trying to take her for all she had. Uh, the Lord had prepared the way. But by the time he got there, her situation had changed. Now, I don't know when he told her this, but I know this, after the brook dried up, Elijah, or the Lord told Elijah to go. So apparently, that's when he tells her that I've already commanded her. So apparently he had already told her at that point. And it took some time. I looked it up once, but I don't remember now. But it was a significant amount of time to get from where he was to there. So it had been a while. What I'm saying is this. When the Lord told her this, she still had provision. Yeah, amen. When the Lord gave her that instruction, she still had in her mind the, the ability to do that instruction. Yes. So he arose and went to Zarephath. And when he came to the gate of the city, behold, the widow woman was there gathering her sticks. Uh, and he called to her and said, Fetch me, I pray thee, a little water in a vessel that I may drink. And as she was going to fetch it, he called to her and said, Bring me, I pray thee, a morsel of bread in thine hand. And she said, As the Lord thy God liveth, I have not a cake, but a handful of meal in a barrel, and a little oil in a cruise. And behold, I am gathering two sticks, that I may go in and dress it for me and my son, that we may eat it and die. And Elijah said unto her, Fear not. Amen. All hope was gone. They were on their last cake. They didn't have anything left. It wasn't going to rain. They couldn't get anything else. There was nothing else to get. And Elijah said unto her, Fear not. Go and do as thou hast said. But make me thereof a little cake first, 
and bring it unto thee, un, unto me, and after make for thee and for thy son. For thus saith the Lord God of Israel, The barrel of meal shall not waste, neither shall the cruise of oil fail, until the day that the Lord sendeth rain upon the earth. And she went and did according to the saying of Elijah. And she and he and her house did eat many days. And the barrel of meal, meal wasted not, neither did the cruise of oil fail, according to the word of the Lord, which he spake by Elijah. Now realize here, uh, uh, when, uh, when the Lord gave her the instruction, just like uh, uh, when Mary and Martha uh, sent for Jesus, there was still hope. She still had something. When Mary and Martha sent for Jesus, Lazarus was still alive. There was still hope in their mind. But it got to the point there was no hope left. Just a handful of meal in a barrel. See, why did the Lord let her get down to where she had nothing left? Well, why, when Elijah got there, why didn't he just go ahead and give her a full barrel then and then say, make me something? Amen. Even after, even after he, she obeyed, even after she did what the Lord had done, why didn't he fill her barrel up then? Because it doesn't say he ever filled her barrel up. It said it didn't waste. Yep. Which means Amen. there was the same amount there that there was to begin with. Amen. Which is a handful. Yeah. Why? Just so he could bless. <laughs> so every day when she went in, Amen. Every day when she went in and knew that she had used up all she had the day before, used up everything and given to the Lord. In this first case, everything that she had and yet it never wasted. Amen. What a blessing that would be every morning to go in and find oh, that the Lord's giving you just enough to get through that day. Every day. Every day. And I don't know how many days, but the Bible says many. Mm -hmm. And that's enough. Amen. Even if it was ten. I don't know how many is many, but I got a feeling it's more than ten. But amen, I'd be blessed over ten. Amen. Why did he do it that way? Just so he could bless. Every day, just so he could bless. Uh, so the next question, we'll move back to our text for a moment. Uh, 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 the next question we could ask is how many times, uh, let me just say it this way. I've heard this asked a whole bunch of times in every Sunday school that ever reads this verse. Amen. I asked it myself when I was a kid. And I didn't. And, and you hear all kinds of answers. Uh, uh, and, you know, they're good opinions and whatever, but, but they're that. They're opinions. And some of them might be right. I don't know. And I ain't going to try to figure it out. I'm just going to answer it with a verse, and that's the only way I know how to answer it. In, in verse 35, why did Jesus weep? And I've heard it, heard it said, well, uh, 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 he wept because of Mary, or, or he wept because he knew uh, uh, what he was going to do uh, to, to bring Lazarus out of eternity. I, I don't know about none of that. Uh, what I know about it is this. Uh, uh, Hebrews 4 and 15 says, uh, For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feelings Amen. of our infirmities, Amen. but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Why did he weep? Just so he could bless. Amen. Just so we could know that when we cry, he cares. Amen. Just so we could know uh, 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 that he can be touched with the feeling of our infirmity. Uh, uh, oh, that if it matters to us, uh, it matters to him. Uh, uh, that our tears that fall uh, aren't lost on the master. Uh, amen. Uh, uh, that he cares amen. about our situation. He knew what he was going to do. Sure there was... Amen. He realized that their weeping would not be for long. That they could rejoice in just a moment. And yet the weeping touched his heart. Amen. You realize that our life is but a vapor. Mm -hmm. And he knows, amen, if he or his, that it's just a vapor. And we, what waits for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. But that don't mean he don't care when you weep now. That don't mean he won't be there to comfort you now. Amen. Why did he weep with them? Uh, uh, just so he could bless us. Uh, uh, just so he, we could know uh, uh, that he cares, uh, that he loves, uh, uh, that he still cares. Amen. And the last question, I told you we move quick, that we want to look at in this passage is from verse uh, 38 to 41. I'll read it again. It said, Jesus therefore, again groaning him in himself, cometh to the grave. It was a cave and a stone lay upon it. Jesus said, Take ye away the stone. Martha, the sister of him that was dead, saith unto him, Lord, by this time he stinketh, for he hath been dead four days. Jesus saith unto her, Said I not unto thee that if thou wouldest believe, 
that thou shouldest see the glory of God. Then they took away the stone Amen. from the place where the dead was laid. Mm -hmm. So the question is, why did they have to take away the stone? Amen. Uh, uh, we're talking about the one uh, who just spoke and the dead came back to life. You think he couldn't speak a rock out of the way? We're talking about, uh, amen, he could have just said, if I can just say it this way, he could have told Lazarus to move it. Why didn't he? Amen. I want you to realize something. He don't need you or I. The Lord is more than capable. Amen. If, uh, if I can just say it this way, and don't, please don't think I'm saying I'm going to do this. I just use myself as an example uh, 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 so that way it don't hurt nobody else's feelings. Uh, 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 but if I say tomorrow uh, uh, that I'm going to hang it up and I'm done, uh, you think he, did, uh, he can't accomplish? Do you think I'm going to stop the kingdom of God by doing that? Uh, uh, absolutely not. He'll find another willing vessel. Uh, 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 but I want you to realize something. Uh, uh, him allowing us to work is just so he can bless well, I, th I think about this example, and, and, and let me just say, I'm trying to make sure I say it the right way. When we anoint with oil, there is no power in oil. Nope. It's the same stuff I cook with. Amen. I was at a garage one day, uh, uh, a man wanted to be anointed, uh, and I thought I forgot my little bottle at the house, so I was going to use, these, use this huge butter oil. It'd be fine. That's right. The Bible don't tell me it's got to be all over yeah. canola or, or Pam or whatever. It just says oil. There's power in obedience to the Word of God. But that oil don't do nothing. Us doing it don't do nothing. But you know what it does? It lets, us, lets Him bless us for our obedience. Yes. You know what it does? It lets us be involved in what He's doing. Yes. It allows us. Amen. It's just. Uh, the only purpose for it uh, is just so He can bless. So when He tells them to roll away the stone, you know Why? It's just so he can bless their obedience. When, amen. When he tells us uh, uh, to move a stone away in our own life. Uh, amen. When we have things uh, that are blocking his, uh, blocking his work, uh, realize he has all power. Uh, uh, he could just change it if he wanted to. Yes, true. But he never does. That's right. Why? Just so he can bless. <laughs> just so we can bless our obedience. Just so we can have a part in him. We're going to close, but I want you to think for a moment about your own life. Amen. The Lord said, I am the Lord. I change not. He still moves just so He can bless in our life. You ever get up in the morning and look out on the horizon and just see a bright red and orange and yellow sunrise? No, that don't make the sun shine no brighter. There, there is, amen, uh, uh, there is no practical purpose that that performs. Uh, it doesn't do anything. But it sure does bless. Amen. That's good. That's true. You ever right. just go out and listen to a bird for a little while? You ever just feel like, a, amen, he put something there just for you to see it? Yes. Uh, Steve Arbogast has, uh, has said about this before. I'll tell a story on him. He said he has a shirt. That says, and the Lord never let him wear it because he don't want nobody to get the wrong idea. But he has a shirt, and he just looks at it. That says, the Lord loves you, but he loves me more. Not that the Lord loves anyone else more, but it sure does feel like it sometimes. <laughs> it sure does, amen, when he sits down with you in the house, Clarence. Uh, 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 when you sit down to study, uh, and he just comes in and sits down and teaches you for a little while. Uh, oh boy, it sure does feel like it. Uh, feel awful good. It sure, amen, I know he'll do it to, uh, for anybody that's willing. I know
to go into the homes of those that watch. Lord, uh, for those that are willing to take their time, uh, amen, to roll away the stones uh, of busyness, to roll away the stones of uh, 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 whatever, uh, and take the time, you're willing to go in there with them too. Just so you can bless them. And Lord, I thank you for it. Lord, I pray we never forget to give you the honor and glory and praise due unto your name. Lord, for you are good and your mercy endureth forever. We love you, Lord. It's in the name of Jesus that we pray. And amen. Amen. Amen.